goodness. Bless you. Oh, hey, thank you, Mr. Kevin. <laughs> oh. oh, hi, friends. Pastor Tarina here. Excuse me for that sneeze. Hey, did you know that the tradition of saying bless you when someone sneezes began hundreds of years ago? Yeah, it was a way to pray good health over a person, to give them a blessing. They did this because a sneeze can mean someone is sick, so they wanted to say a prayer over them that they would get well. I just have allergies though. But saying bless you over someone is a way for them to keep your prayer with them. It's like giving them a hug even when you aren't together so that they feel loved and encouraged. You know what, in the Old Testament, in the book of Numbers, God gave us special words to say over each other. They go like this. May the Lord bless you and take good care of you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. You see, God gave us these words as a promise. And when we give blessing like that to others, we give them the same promise that God gave us, that God takes care of us. He smiles at us and he gives us peace. So don't just give a blessing when someone sneezes and let the blessing that we just heard inspire you in different ways to give blessings knowing that it is based on praying for God's favor on someone. So if your mom or dad, for example, is making you dinner after they have already worked a really long day, you can say, God, give dad peace. Or you can say, God, help mom rest. You can also say a blessing to someone like grandma, I pray you feel God smiling on you. You see, you yourself, you can be a blessing by giving the gift of encouraging prayers to the people in your life that you care about. Now, before you go, I would like to give you a blessing. All right. May the Lord bless you and take good care of you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you and may the Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. All right, friends, I will see you next time.